hello guys welcome to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from and i hope you're all doing well nigerian is at the point of no return failed as a nation this is coming out from the united states now before i start if you're just watching it for the first time please draw us a favor by hitting the subscribe button down below in that way that will notify you whenever i drop a new video and i pray as we keep supporting our channel god will keep sending people to support you a email now this is a bit nigeria as a nation is at the point of no return according to the council on foreign relations and the harvard kennedy school in the united states and has shown all our marks of a failed state according to the organization nigeria is currently in its final phase from which it will eventually collapse as stated in a research finding released by the senior fellow and former U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, John Campbell and Mr. Robert Wattbag. The organization stated that the view was founded on a body of political theory formed at the turn of the century and elaborated on case by case ever since whether on emotion or a desire to use derogatory language to describe the situation. According to the research, Nigeria has progressed from a weak state to a fully failed state exhibiting all of the hallmarks of a failed state, including the government's incapacity to protect residents, large-scale violence, and a festering insurgency. They believe that the President Muhammad Buhari's administration, that the federal government has lost control of the situation and the first step towards restoring normalcy. Nigeria's failure as a state, they said, we have serious ramifications for peace and security in the West African sub-region, as well as the EU and United States. Nigeria has long been on the verge of collapse. Nigeria has now become a fully failed state of significant geopolitical importance, unable to keep its inhabitants safe and secured. Its failure is significant because a stronger Nigeria is necessary for African peace and prosperity, as well as avoiding the spread of chaos and militancy around the world. Its economy is typically regarded as Africa's largest or second largest after the South African. Nigeria being the hegemon of West Africa for so long has played a constructive role in supporting African peace and stability. With state failure, that vacation can no longer be sustained and no alternative is in sight. In the face of growing jihadism, its security issues are already destabilizing the West African region, making the Sahel's fight that much more difficult to suppress. Thoughtful, Nigerians have discussed often vehemently whether their country has failed during the last decade. Their consensus is going that it has according to a story published on foreign policy on Thursday. Violent internal strife, such as civil war or insurgency, exist in all phase states. Nigeria is currently dealing with six or more internal insurgencies, and the Nigerian state's failure to give peace and security to its people has steeped a previously weak state into disaster. In political theory, the government's failure to quell the Boko Haram insurgency is enough to classify Nigeria as a flare state. However, there are numerous small signs and symptoms citizens expect their government to protect them against external attack and keep them safe with their boundaries at the very least. Alright guys, um, that's it for the news and let me share my opinion with you. I am sure that um, it is not only the United States that has seen Nigeria as a failed state. Likewise, all other countries are seeing it also. The United States um, describing Nigeria as a failed state when talking about insurgency, political issues surfacing the country. We all know that there are many failed countries, but Nigeria seems to be worse so far. Not to even talk about how the government treats its people, but the truth of the matter is that in as much as we have all these bad governments, Nigeria will always continue to be a failed state. Nigeria's failures has made people not to live in peace and has caused the death of many innocent lives. Buhari's administration has failed Nigeria and also these are bad politicians we have in the country. Most of these bad leaders has caused the increase in insecurity, the crime rate, even the kidnappings. But some of these bad leaders, they even sponsor these terrorists to attack. 
this made me recall um when uh, this book i'm terrorist had shared some food and money to this um uh, not tenants during um, the fasting period the muslim fasting period imagine that kind of situation when the terrorists have the courage to move around in the state why would nigeria be classified as a failed country how do these terrorists get this money this full stuff to share to the people how do these terrorists get these ammunitions they're using attacking the people and it could it be from this ransom they collect from the kidnapped students the same people that are stone kidnappings to something that happens every day even for the fact that nigerian is collapsing but these same bad leaders have taken over this corruption the crime rate it has turned to the increase in insecurity and Buhari's government had lost control and the lack of restoring peace to the country. The government that can no longer keep the people safe and secure. This same government has the inability to tackle these Boko Haram insurgencies, talkless of other, um, other terrorists. Just imagine when the governor will say that people should start protecting themselves against this terrorist attack, against any terrorist attack. So why are the government stopping the security operatives? The security operatives, when we have um, the Eastern security, they're from protecting their people. This operative that are sworn to protect its people in the southeast against any terrorist attack. So when we see that nobody is safe, even the politicians are not safe. Looking at how a politician was literally killed and in Imo state by an unknown government, as the reporter said, but still due to this insecurity we are facing in the country. Although the death of the, this politician was still fishy. Or could it be that he was also among one of the bad politicians we have in the country? Looking at how he was killed mercilessly. This is how these bad leaders we have in the country will face the wrath of the Lord surely one day. Buhari's administration has failed to protect their trusted citizens. What a shame to his administration who has promised to clean up corruption starting from his tenure back in 2015 and yet is still struggling against insecurity. That is why I keep saying that in a million times that Nigeria has led to a failed state due to the bad governance, the bad ruling leaders we have in the country. The failures of the government have destabilized the education of the people. Likewise, many Nigerians have lost their lives to these Boko Haram terrorists. As we know that um, we have the corruption in the government, we also have it in the military. Those people are powerless to fight against these terrorists, but they can use these powers against the people they sworn to protect. These powers that have been used on the citizens that have killed many Nigerian citizens. But the truth of the matter is that um, these bad leaders know that Nigeria has already collapsed. They also know that Nigeria is also a failed country. All right, guys, um, that's it for the news. And we want to thank you for your support on this channel. Is not taken for granted and please don't forget to share your thoughts on the comment section below after watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share see you next time till i come your way bye bye bye